Hello Linux folks. Today we are going to see what's new in elementary OS 5.0 Juno release. If you want more Linux distribution reviews and Linux stuff, stay subscribed and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So let's begin. App Center has some major improvements or I would say major changes so this looks the same as usual but if you go and try to download an app you'll see that there is a price tag this price tag is set by the developer but you don't need to panic just now you don't have to pay the new payment feature is called pay what you want so the developer expects you to pay $2 but you can pay more or less so you can pay $1, $5 or you can pay $0 and it will be available to download for free it's like pay what you want and one more new feature is that it now displays the size of the application so you know how much it will cost your internet bandwidth to download the particular application the rest is usual the feature in the new release and the description of the application the license information and everything the payment option is embedded everywhere in the app store so you will see the option to fund the developer even on the description page so if you like a particular application you can give donation from there as well and there is this another feature which has reported problem so if you are facing an issue with the with an application you can click on the link and then you can open a new issue on its github page and how does this payment system work so suppose I want to install this melody software I have to enter my email address and my credit card information there's no option for paying through PayPal or through Bitcoin or anything like that you must use your credit card but you can also download it for free if you don't have a credit card there are a few changes in files as well the first and the most noticeable thing is the color of the the folder icons so instead of the usual blue you have a pale yellow kind of shade here and of course the single click is always there what it also has is this breadcrumb feature so it it now displays where you are and you can simply click on one of them and you can go back like that Juno also focuses extensively on the code editor so the default text editor has been renamed to code because it's more of a code editor than a text editor now so here you can open your programming projects and you'll find the features of any standard code editor here so for example if I open this program you'll see the programming editing area so you can it has support for programming languages and you can see the directories of your project with Git integration that shows the modified or the changed files or the synced files everything in the editor itself and of course you have the features like searching find and replace and you can also change the looks of your editor so you can give it a dark look or you can give it a bright high contrast look it's up to you it's just one click away to change the theme of your editor it also has one tiny feature which is opening the the recently closed tabs you can see the recently closed tabs and you can open them from here like any other standard code editor the terminal in elementary OS Juno is smart it has features which you won't usually find in other Linux distributions terminal for example the tab here the terminal tab shows the command which you are running or it shows the directory where you are or the last command you ran apart from that you have this notification feature for example if I run this command 
like okay upgrade and then you run a command you wait for it or you start doing something else then it will show you a notification this is not new to Juno but you will also have this tiny arrow symbol that in case you miss this notification on the desktop you can see that the command in that particular tab is now complete you can also do a find and search on the screen on the result of the command outputs normally it is in one directional but you can change it to cyclic and you can just search among the command output on the terminal screen you can also change the theme of the terminal from this tiny shortcut here so you can have a contrast theme or a dark theme and you can also change the size of the fonts I mean these are tiny things you can do it in settings but it's helpful and there is this feature as well you can open your present working directory in the file from the terminal with the right click menu the wallpaper system has been improved in elementary OS usually in Ubuntu or other Ubuntu based distribution there are a bunch of wallpapers but if you want to add more wallpapers they are not included in the default wallpaper library what I mean is suppose you downloaded a few wallpapers you set them as background that's fine you change the pictures to some other wallpaper that's fine as well but if you go back in the system setting normally you won't find those wallpapers in Ubuntu or other distributions but elementary has changed that so whatever pictures whatever wallpaper you set they are imported to the wallpaper library so you don't have to create a different or separate wallpaper folder and import it there it is imported automatically tiny feature but as I said it's useful The mouse and touchpad settings has been slightly improved in Juno. So in the settings you'll find a few more options like enabling or disabling mouse middle click paste. You also have the regular settings and you also have the new settings like controlling the physical clicking and a couple of more things. I mean it's up to you to explore. I mean it's slightly better, it's not something revolutionary but there are a few changes and you might find it useful the default browser in elementary OS epiphany uh, I don't know how to pronounce that epiphany yeah so it has one improvement one I would say major improvement that is that it can now sync with the Firefox so if you have Firefox browser on other devices other computers or on your mobile operating systems you can now sync all the history bookmarks and everything with the default browser in elementary OS this is perhaps not a surprise elementary OS users that elementary OS takes inspiration from Mac OS and this is why the keyboard shortcuts have been kind of inspired from the Mac OS. You can see the symbol for super key is the Mac key symbol. <laughs> Elementary OS now has the nightlight features built in in the system settings. Most of the other Linux distributions already provide this feature, so Elementary OS is not going to stay behind. So you can do a manual or automatic nightlight start. What else is new in Elementary OS? Well, it's up to you to explore things. You, if you have used it before, you will see that almost other stuff looks the same but still different because the icons and everything has been slightly touched up so they are almost the same in terms of features and looks but slightly tweaked to have a 
more pleasant view on the eyes. The icons have been changed slightly with a new color palette. So they look similar, familiar, but they are still changed a little. And then you have the same familiar set of applications and the settings and everything which as an existing elementary OS user you might have already seen these stuff before but if you're new to it you might still want to see what it looks like to be using elementary OS Juno so you have the options to control the app center you have the option to control what application has the access to notification here uh, these are tiny things you might find it everywhere else and you have a new tool called housekeeping to clean up your system and few other things you might be using it in other other Linux desktop as well if you like element OS and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already subscribe for more Linux related videos and tips and tutorials okay. don't forget to leave a comment the features you liked or the features you would like to see in elementary or any other linux distribution like hardware support new features useful features fingerprint scanner or the face unlock signing off now stay subscribed stay tuned see you bye bye